Hey guys, Outdoor Prepper, welcome back to the channel. Let's just get it out of the way real fast. If you can do me a favor, if you enjoy this video, if you could like and subscribe, it really helps the channel. All right, let's get right into it. I talk a lot about generators and what you should buy to power your home in a blackout, in a hurricane, in a grid down scenario, in a storm blew through, knocked out power. And that's all great. And I really obviously believe in what I'm saying. I, I practice it, I own these units. But what if you live in an apartment? What if you don't have a house and you don't have a backyard to run the generator or a garage to store the generator? You know, there's a lot of folks right now that, that lost power in Texas from the recent hurricane a couple of weeks ago. And, and God willing, all of, all of those folks have gotten power back. But I know there's still some areas without power. What do you do if you're in an apartment? You still have to have lights. You still have to have a fridge a phone charger, you know, some basic, basic necessities. Maybe you'll have AC, you probably won't, you know, air conditioning. But how do you power something in an apartment? And so, look, we're at the beginning, well, not really the beginning, but we're at the beginning of the peak of hurricane season, right? So storms are going to start getting worse right now through August, through September, and even October. So I think this is a really important video to get out there and show you guys some options for power in an apartment if you don't have power. And what we've got here on the table are two units. Well, there's a couple of items here. We've got a mag light. We've got a small streamlight lantern. We've got the Blue Eddy AC-180. And we've got the Blue Eddy AC-2A. And then we've got a couple of extension cords. Because what I really want to do here today is show you, you don't need a lot and you can get a lot from these items. Now the reason I have two different Blue Eddy systems here, you might be on a budget, right? Not everybody has the same financial means as the next person. So if you maybe are budget conscious and you know you might be on a fixed income, you might not be able to drop five, six hundred dollars on a power station for your apartment, but you could probably drop 150 bucks. So Let's talk about what we've got here on the table. Let's talk about what my recommendations are, what my testing uh, has concluded, and how this would actually work for you in a real life scenario. So starting uh, on the right side, we've got the AC-180. Now this is kind of a mid-range, uh, it's called a solar generator. It's really a lithium iron phosphate battery um, with an inverter. And so what does it do? You've got four AC outlets, you've got four USB type A outlets, and you've got one USB uh, type C 100 watt outlet. Uh, then you've got a DC outlet, uh, like your standard cigarette lighter, and then you've got a little input um, for solar charging. Let's zoom in here so you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about here on the AC 180. Now this unit has an 1800 watt inverter, that's what the 1800 means, and the 1152 means this has 1,152 watt hours of power. So if you had a device that took 1,152 watts, you would exhaust the battery in one hour. If you had a device that took 10 watts, do the math, uh, and you'll get your runtime. There's obviously a little bit of a loss here because you're powering the inverter. Um, but I did some testing on this unit here in an apartment. And let me tell you, with the AC180, fully charged, this unit was able to power my full-size refrigerator and two separate lamps. And let's be honest, in a, in a power outage scenario, in an apartment, what do you need? You want the fridge running, if you can, and you really want some lights. You want lights because you don't want to trip, you don't want to fall, you don't want to become injured, uh, you want to maybe prevent crime. Somebody sees your apartment slip, they might go to the next unit. Um, and maybe you want some form of communication. So this unit right here, and let me turn it on so you can kind of see what we're dealing with. And I did a whole separate review on the AC-180. But when you turn it on here, basically you see on the screen, we're at 100% battery capacity. At the current usage, we have AC turned off and DC turned off. So just in standby mode, we've got 99.9 .9 hours of runtime. Uh, if you press the AC button, Give it a second, you'll hear a click as the inverter comes on. That's come on now. Um, now the AC inverter is on and these four outlets are powered. So now you can plug in your devices and use them. And then same with DC. If you press the DC button, it will turn on all of the USB ports, uh, A and C, and then it will turn on the 12 volt power outlet. The screen does time out and will turn off um, 
probably momentarily. But anyway, in my real world testing, this powered my full size fridge and two lights. And the lights were, they were LED bulbs, but they were 60 watt equivalents. But on an LED bulb, that takes about 10 watts to run a 60 watt equivalent LED bulb. This ran for 14 hours. That's a long runtime. 14 hours, full size fridge, two lamps. So if you're in an apartment, guys, that's great. Plug in your fridge, you've got 14 hours of runtime. You can get some lights powered. Chances are you're not going to need those two lights on for 14 hours. So what you can do is you could use the extra power to charge your phone up, maybe listen to a radio, watch the TV for a little bit. Well, and then you're gonna say, well, what happens when this dies? How do I recharge it? Obviously, if your apartment has no power, you're not gonna be able to charge it there. Because this has two handles, a carry handle here and over there. It's, it's solid, it's about you know, 25, 30 pounds. But this will charge to 80% capacity in about 45 minutes. So you could literally take this, put it in a car, drive it to a friend's house, you know, a block away, a town away, uh, wherever, or a police station, a library, where somebody's got power and maybe they're letting people charge stuff. Plug it in. In 45 minutes, you're at 80% capacity. In a little over an hour, you're going to be at 100% capacity bring it back to your apartment and you've got another 14 hours of power. Yes, it's not super convenient to have to carry this with you to charge it, but it's giving you some real options if, if you are in a tight situation and you've got a power outage. I also took this and I, I used it to power my window AC uh, as a test. Now I have the Medea U-shaped window AC, which is basically like a, um, a small mini split system, but it fits in a window and it's an inverter air conditioner, so it's very efficient. This powered it for almost four and a half, five hours. Again, and that was on medium, you know, 62 degrees. So it gives you some options. Maybe you run the AC for an hour, you turn it off. Run it again for an hour, a couple hours later, turn it off. This gives you a lot of options. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the screen off. You just press and hold this to turn it off. And again, I did a whole review on this, if you're interested. The AC 180, that's uh, about, I paid 550 bucks. I got it on sale. It is routinely on sale on Amazon and or Blue Eddy's website. Really good unit. Uh, but again, maybe you don't want to spend $550 for your apartment, but you still want a light. You still want to charge a phone, uh, you know, some basic things. Right here, this is the AC2A, and this is obviously a smaller unit. This is 204 watts or watt hours of power and you've got a 300 watt power inverter. Same concept, press the button here, turn it on. We're at 97% capacity, output is zero, I'm sorry, input is zero, output is zero. Standard cigarette lighter, this is an input, so if you wanna charge from solar, you've got your USB-C and two USB-A ports. Same concept, turn it on, and when you hear a little click and it'll say on the screen AC, now the AC outlet is on. I took this and I did a test with it uh, the other night and I plugged in using similar extension cords, obviously not these which are still in the package. I plugged in my two lamps as usual. I got seven and a half hours of runtime on my two lights which were again 60 watt equivalent LEDs so it was really 20 watts of power ran for seven and a half hours. Now, there's a little bit of a loss here because if you do the calculations at 204 watt hours, if I'm running 20 watts, I should get more than seven and a half hours. So I was a little disappointed in that. Um, obviously, the AC inverter is gonna take some power here. But again, I don't need to run lamps for seven hours. It's nice to know that I can. So if I took the two and I turned it into one, in theory, I should get at least 14 hours of runtime. And I would still have some power left over to charge my phone you know, charge a tablet, maybe use a radio for a little bit, watch TV just for a little bit. Again, this is a small unit. You're not gonna get a lot of runtime out of it, but this unit was fairly inexpensive. This was I think $149 on Amazon. It's routinely that price. It's got a little handle. Guys, this thing is light. Two fingers, look at this. I can pick this up. One finger, I can, I can carry this. This is not a big, heavy unit, but you know what? If you've got it and you've got it in your apartment, you put it in a closet, keep it fully charged, when you have a blackout, at least you can plug in a light, you can charge your phone, you can do some very basic things with it. To recharge this, super easy, come around the side, 
just takes a standard computer plug and it comes with it. Uh, this is a grounding lug if you want to ground it. Same thing with the AC-180. It's got the same charging plug on the side. So I think these are some options. And also here on the table, you know, we've got a stream light and I'm putting this out here for reference. Most people have items like this. You've got a little lantern. This takes two, I'm sorry, three AA batteries, different intensities. It can flash. It's got red. It's got a little handle. You can hang it somewhere for a tent or whatever. A little mag light, you know, you lose power in your apartment, walk around, you want to be able to see. These items are great. I think everybody should have these. You should have a little lantern. You should have a little handheld flashlight, whatever your brand of choice is, mag light, stream light, O light, it doesn't really matter. But I really think that, especially if you're in like a hurricane prone area, Texas, Florida, the Carolinas, the East Coast, Mississippi, you know, any area where you might get hit by a storm, a hurricane, or you might have a prolonged power outage, and if you're in an apartment, you're going to want some options. So these are two options that, that I've tested out that I recommend, and so far I'm really happy with them. Again, the AC-180, blown away by its performance. 14 hours for the fridge and two lights, that was pretty solid. And then actually recently I did have a small outage. It was only about five hours long. I came home, the lights went out. And I still had to work. I had to log onto my computer. But what was I going to do? So I took the AC-180 out, powered the router, powered the optical network terminal, you know, to get the internet over to the router, powered the computer, the monitor, you know, everything. A light. It ran totally fine. I had no issues. And then eventually the power came back on. I still had power left over. Oh, and I plugged the fridge in as well. And uh, when the power came back on, I just turned it off, charged it back up, and put it away. So... I hope you guys find this helpful, and, and the reason I put two extension cords out here is just kind of example. These, these cords I picked up at Harbor Freight, very inexpensive. <clears throat> I think I paid $9 for one of them and maybe $12 for the other. It was not a lot of money, and what I do is I keep the AC-180 in the closet, keep the extension cords on it, and that's just where it sits. And then if I need this, if there's an emergency, if power goes out, everything is in one place. Take the extension cords out. Take the AC-180 out, put it on the counter, plug in the fridge, plug in what I got to do. Same thing with the AC-2A. Um, you know, obviously, it's a smaller uh, skimmed down version. You're not going to be powering a refrigerator with that. But you are going to power lights, and maybe that's all you need. Maybe you're like, you know what? I don't need to power the fridge. I'm on a budget. I don't want to spend six, seven, thousand dollars $1,000 to get all these big units. But I want to power some lights, and I want to charge my phone. That's, that's important to me. So the AC2A can do that. And you can plug solar into both of these. You can buy solar panels either from Bluetti, Aftermarket, get them on Amazon, get them at Harbor Freight, get the right connectors and adapters. You can plug it in. If you buy a 200-watt panel, the AC2A is 204 watts. So plug that panel in, pull 190 watts, give or take. You know, you're never going to get 200 watts from a 200-watt panel, but you'll get close, maybe 150 and you'll charge this thing in an hour, hour and a half, you know. Again, I hope you guys have found this video helpful. This is what I really recommend for an apartment power outage situation. Yes, there's lots of other options out there. You can get larger batteries, larger and larger and larger. You can get lanterns, but this is a fairly inexpensive solution if you go with the AC2A. 149 bucks, not gonna break the bank. The AC180, yes, it is more expensive. And you can step up further. I have an AC200L, which is even larger. And I actually hooked that up uh, to my home's transfer switch to power the home for a while. But that's going to set you back $1,200, 1300 bucks. So AC180, $550. Bucks. AC2A, $149. I hope, I hope you guys found this helpful. Uh, if you're in a hurricane area, please be safe. You know, take precautions. Hope you and your families are safe, and I hope this video helps you. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you at the next one.